Good morning. I'm sat here with Jenny from Hudson Blade Training and uh, we're about to learn a lot about the, uh, the fantastic journey she's been on and will be going on. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning, Steph. So, Jenny, can you tell us a little about yourself and what your background is? Hi, Steph. So, yeah, my name is Jenny Hudson. I was born in Portsmouth and lived here my whole life. I'm a mum to two lovely children who are 10 and 3. Started my learned disability nurse training in 2003. Since then, I've worked in acute behaviour settings and then moved over to community team across East Hants. During this time, I completed a degree in clinical practice and mentorship of student nurses. I left three years ago and registered as a childminder so I could be available for my children more while I discovered what my next career path would be. Wow. So I believe you actually, as you say there, you, you've recently just started your business. So what's your business called and in what areas of the market are you aiming at? Yes, I took a year to get off the ground and work the business up, but I did launch in 2016 um, and last month was key for me, celebrated my first year, which has gone much better than what I had hoped it would be. So my business, Hudson Blake Training, has two strands. I offer accredited first aid training UK-wide to various markets ranging from one-to-one -one with parents to colleges, construction companies. The other branch is health and social care courses with a core expertise in learning disabilities and this is aimed at care providers and mostly my target audience is obviously learning disability providers. And in the near future, I hope to bring another strand, but it's a watch this space at the moment. So Jenny, as you say, you've been working for the last 12 months in your business. So what have you seen as the main challenges that you've experienced over the last 12 months? I think budget and time management is huge, not just for me, but any new startup, because you have to have a day job as well. If you've got no client base to start with, you still have mortgages to pay. And this restricts your time, but not just in your business, but on it. Networking, meeting clients, it's hard around a day job and family. But I also think that you're developing so much as a person as well as a business over the first 12 months that it can be a very vulnerable time, especially as you're suddenly competing with some very strong, well-established companies. And so you need to very quickly change and adapt in a world that is new to you. So it certainly is a hard, busy year. I know that you've worked with Shaping Portsmouth before and currently now. So how has Shaping helped you so far? And what more as an organisation can we do to help you? Well, my first ever event as a new business was Tooled Up, which I nervously and reluctantly went to. But um, once I was there, it was really good. Lots of different tables with an expert at each and you could pick which related to you. From Tooled Up, I made links with people like Becky Lodge, who runs a network group, which has improved my confidence with networking and sort of business knowledge. I also joined up for the mentorship service that you run. I was paired up with a mentor, and he sponsored me to get a business plan together. This helped me organise my thoughts so I wasn't just winging it, which really wasn't the best method for the first year. I had clear goals that I wanted from the mentor, and we achieved those really quickly in about three sessions, so I've still got a few to use, which I recently received the paperwork to sign up again for just need to decide what topic we're going to go on to. I think one of the main things I'd like to see event for, like tooled up, is the next stage. So you know what you're doing and you have started, but how do you take it to the next level? How to move it forward past the startup stage to be what you'd class as established? But also maybe a day on networking skills, how to network, what to say, body language, how to sell yourself in a room. As I've learned to get through the first year, it's all about networking and who you know. Um, but it doesn't come easily and talking to other startups that's such a common theme for everyone they all have butterflies in their stomach as they're standing up to talk and it's just how do you get over that stage would be really useful okay i mean again you've given us some great ideas there for the future some of those things we do have in plan but some of them we don't so jenny all i can say to you is i'm delighted we've worked with you so far and we're here to help you and work with you in the future so good luck and thank you for coming in this morning thank you